All right, in this video, we're going to install the latest firmware update for the Amiga A500 device from RetroGames.biz. Here I'm plugging in the power, the HDMI port, both USB devices, which is the controller and the mouse, and then finally my flash drive. Don't forget to power, to plug in the power to your device which you need a brick for. And then you push the little button on the back to power it on. Once it's powered on, you'll be presented with a menu and then you can go in and see if you have any problems. Maybe see if you could look at it and then we present it with this screen. So you have to go and download a folder and put it at the root of the flash drive. And those are the instructions for the web page. And then once you download that and copy it down, you'll then be able to navigate and check out the files that are on your external flash drive. The flash drive has to ha be formatted FAT32 for it to work. It's similar, the whole process is similar for the C64. So basically we're gonna take a copy of that folder, paste it up to the flash drive right here is what I'm doing, and then switch back to the A5 100 mini and you can see now I can get to the folders on the flash drive but I can't yet view any of the files in my my ROMs folders and I can't run any of the games yet because we have to apply this firmware update here I'm looking at the firmware screen and I notice that there's this bonus pack we can download and it has a game called Citadel we'll check that out later and I thought, hey, may as well just download it now while I'm doing the firmware update. Copy it up, and then we'll do the firmware update. So here you can see the new features that are available on the 1.1.1 update. And you can download the update itself. What you have to do is put it on the root of the flash drive. And then you have to just apply the update. And there's some instructions here. Before you apply the update, you want to read these instructions. That just takes a few seconds to throw it on the drive. And then looking back at the instructions, I wanted to highlight a few things. With this update, you can play ADF files, which are Amiga data files, I guess. And then there's a few other features, like the physical controller swap that you can do. And then I wanted to highlight a few of the things that you need to do, which is to copy the firmware up, and then you have to go into the options, advanced options, system information in order to apply the update. And then they say we recommend unplugging all peripherals, including the mouse, leaving only the gamepad and the USB stick. So that's what I do here. I go ahead and unplug it. And then I went ahead and said, okay, let's go do the update, go into the options, advanced options, system update, and hit the update. This part, I sped it up a little bit, double speed. It does take a little bit of time. And then once it's done, it reboots the unit. And that's the menu that starts up with the A500 mini. And then I just wanted to demonstrate once that firmware update's in place, you can go ahead and run your external games off of the flash drive. I've never played Popeye, but I just wanted Popeye 2, but I just wanted to show that it, it does work. And then back to the bonus games, uh, and that's where you download the manual. And I just wanted to show there is the di a digital copy of the manual right there. And there's a lot of information in the manual. And basically it has everything you need. That, that manual along with the website has all the information you're going to need to be able to control this unit. And then finally I just wanted to show once you've loaded the bonus game pack you can play Citadel. It's a reimagine or uh, it's been redesigned for 2022 specifically for the A500 and I, it's kind of like a Doom 
sort of game. I'm not very good at it, so I only showed a few seconds of it. So anyway, that is the process of updating the Amiga A500 firmware. Thanks for watching.